Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, OAEP means Optimal Asymmetric Encryption Padding Technique. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the attacks on RSA. There we have discussed that we are having chosen ciphertext attack and short message attack. In order to overcome those attacks, this OAEP is helping us to overcome those attacks. How it is going to overcome those attacks by using OAAP will be discussed in our next class when we discuss a simple example on OAAP. In this class, we will understand the procedure that we follow in OAAP. So both classes are very important. If you understand the procedure, next we will give you a simple example. Now what happens inside OAAP is uh, Suppose if you want to send a message, let's take hello. It is very short message, right? So what we are going to do here, you take the original message and you do padding bits. You add the padding bits. And make the message of size M. Means we are increasing the size of message because we are having only short message. So increasing the size of message M. This M we call it as capital M. Capital M means message included with padding. Once that message capital M has been obtained, we need to mask this message means no one should understand what's inside the original value padded and the original message. No one should understand that. In order to do that, we need to pad. We need to do mask. How we are going to do that mask? Let's try to understand the second step. Choose a random number R of k bits. You randomly select a number that is of k bits. And this R value is used only once. Means for each message, you have to generate a new R value. You randomly generate a number and the size of the number is k bits. Using this k bits, Take R means K bits and create M bit integer. This we call it as mask. How we are going to create a take R bit. R means K bit integer and generate M bit integer by using one way function G of R. G is a one way function that takes R and generate M bit in output. That M bit output, we call it as a mask. We are using it for mask. So what's this one way function? Which function we have to use? In reality, we are going to use complex one way functions. In our previous classes, we, we already discussed many times substitution, permutations, functions, one way functions. You can elaborate the functions and you can reduce the bits and you can increase the bits like that. You can go with any of the function. But in reality, there are so many function, complex functions that generates, that takes k bits and generate m bit, one way function. Means you cannot recreate it. You can use any one. In our example, which we discuss in our next class, we are going to use small functions. So this, this is mask. You generated a mask by using this randomly generated R value. Apply mask to create a first part of the plain text. So you are going to generate the plain text P in that we are having two parts. The first part P1 is generated by M is our message. Did the padding. This is what we call it as M. M exclusive or whatever the mask you generated by using G of R. This is what we call it as first part of the function P1. First part of the plain text P1. So M XR G of R. Once you generated the first part, using this first part, generate the second part. So generate P2. This is the second part of the plain text. How we are going to generate? We are going to generate P2 by using one more hash function. H of P1. Use P1. H means here hash function. Which hash functions we are going to use? We have in our previous classes, we never discussed about hash functions. In our coming classes, we are going to use different hash functions so we can use any of the hash functions which we are going to discuss later. 
So you can use h of p1, use a hash function exclusive or r. This h of p1 is a, h is a another public function takes m bit input and generates k bit output. So we, it is going to take m bit input and generate k bit output. You can reduce the bits. So h of p1 exclusive or r. This is what we call it as second part of the p2. So now p plain text means first part concatenated with second part. This is what we call it as plain text. Now apply RSA algorithm on this plain text. C is equal to cipher text is equal to P power E mod N. This is what we do in RSA. So before that, what we have done in OAP, we have done so much process. Actual data is converted, we, it is going to be masked and from that you are going to generate the first part, from that you are going to generate the second part. This entire two parts we call it as plain text. So this is what cipher text is equal to p power e mod n. This is what we send in the internet. So during the decryption, once it reaches to the destination, what happens there? How he is going to get the actual message? Because we have done a lot of things here. How he is going to recreate it? Now recreation p is equal to during the decryption c cipher text power d mod n. This is what we do in RSA. Yes, c power d mod n. When, when you have done this c power d mod n, what you are going to get? p1 concatenated with p2. Means plain text you are going to get. What's our plain text? This is what our plain text. From p1 and p2, you have to generate the actual data. So recreate r. Once you recreate r, you can easily get the actual message. How you are going to gen generate the R value by using p1 and p2. So what we are going to do here is we are going to again during the decryption if you use the h of p1 exclusive or p2 what happens h of p1 exclusive or p2 what is meant by p2 p2 means h of p1 exclusive or r means h of p1 exclusive or h of p1 exclusive or r these two get cancelled this is the property of exclusive r you are going to get r so by using p1 and p2, you are going to recreate R value. Once you recreate R value, you can generate mask and you can remove it because based on R you generated the mask. So now remove mask. How to remove that? G of R, use the function G, G of R because you know R value now. G of R exclusive or P1, you know P1 and you know G, G function, G of R exclusive or P1. So g of r exclusive or in place of p1, what happens? p1 means you have done here. m exclusive or g of r. So g of r exclusive or g of r plus m. These two get cancelled, you are going to get m. Means you, you got this message. From this, you remove the padding. Remove padding, find the message. So this is what happens in OAEP. Hope you understand what's the procedure of OAAP. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.